Spotify's big deal new policy, Instagram deleting hashtags, and 2020 in general just continuing to be one big piece of shit. Hey y'all, I'm Jen Leah. Welcome to my channel where I bring you tips and discussions weekly on how to make it and get the most out of your career in the music industry and amuse mostly myself with terrible dry humor and sarcasm about the state of the music industry. So let's talk about Spotify. Again, I'm going to get into their new policy and what they're offering and why I think you should take that deal. But before I talk a whole lot of guff about Spotify, I want to ironically announce my new Spotify playlist. I made it to compliment and go along with my Instagram page, Women in Stereo. I know a lot of y'all right now are like, what's the big deal about this playlist? But I built this wonderful community on Instagram where I feature the best up and coming female artists and it's growing every day and people really dig it. But I just want to compliment it with something that can actually grow and is something big and get y'all real streams and discovered. Instagram is such a great tool for promotion, but they also do shady things like only showing your content to 2 to 10% of your followers. And just this week, they blocked the entire United States from seeing any hashtag. So that basically cut everybody's engagement in half. So imagine if all my Instagram followers right now went to the Spotify playlist and followed it and gave it a listen, then all the artists I featured on there would get thousands of new streams and the possibility of thousands of new fans. That's way better than Instagram showing my feature to a couple hundred followers at a time. So go follow the playlist, spread it around. I'll leave the link to it in the description box at the bottom of this video. Um, so yeah, that's the end of that. Now on to the real messy business. Spotify just announced this week, or last week, depending on when this comes out, that they are implementing a new promotional tool as an experiment. I'm also going to put the full article on that in the description if you want to read it. It's kind of long, but basically they're going to start offering artists algorithmic, algorithmic promotion directly from Spotify instead of you having to go and promote through third party sites. They will give you algorithm priority and place you in front of fans that they think will love your music and give you an advantage that you never have when basically battling to the death every day with their normal algorithm system. That sounds amazing. Finally a break. Finally someone out there giving artists a chance to Who's that? Come in. Who are you? I'm the catch. Oh man, but may I sit down? The catch is Spotify is going to take money from you for doing this directly out of your streaming royalties. So basically you're going to get paid less from a company that already doesn't pay you enough to begin with. That stinks, but you should do it. Why? There are a few reasons. One is because Spotify isn't or shouldn't be your main source of income as smaller artists anyway. If you get your music in front of more audiences, they will stream more of your songs, buy more of your merch, follow your social media accounts that make money like Patreon and YouTube. Remember that you're a business and you should have multiple sources of monetization set up or at least being worked toward and bringing new fans to those is the main goal. Another plus is just like with any new feature on social media platforms, they're gonna push the heck out of it. They really want people to use this new feature, so the Spotify algorithm gods will likely reward you if you're one of the first users to jump on and buy into their bad deal. Yes, I said bad deal because it is. They already pay y'all virtually nothing and they kind of have artists by the cojones. They could, to be honest, pay artists zero dollars and the majority of them would probably still upload their music because unfortunately, most artists know that it hurts their business more than it helps them to take a stand against Spotify at this moment in time. Because that's the truth. As a smaller artist, it is more beneficial for you to take advantage of what they're offering even though it's not much, and squeeze all the success that you can out of this music industry giant. 
And I'm not just being negative. With all that being said, this has potential to be a really big deal for some of y'all or a way to completely throw money away for others. Here's the thing. If you're gonna be using this feature, don't let them steal your money for nothing. Go watch the last video I made on how to get on a Spotify playlist because everything I said in that video, pretty much, really applies here too. You need to make sure your songs are up to par. You need to make sure your Spotify profile is professional. You need to make sure you know how to pitch your songs right, etc., etc. If you're paying to promote a song that doesn't compete with the thousands and thousands of professional sounding songs that are submitted to Spotify every day, and you're not putting the time in to make yourself look like a professional artist, then you're wasting your own time and money because even with Spotify's help, nobody's gonna become your fan. It's even stated by Spotify themselves that their listeners are their main priority. And if your music isn't resonating with their audiences, then they have the right to pull back the promotion of that song and they'll still be taking your money. So make sure your music doesn't All right, all right, don't be mean. What? Hard truths. Scoop. <sighs> Hey y'all, sorry about that. She can be a little rough around the edges, but there is major truth there. This is gonna be most beneficial to the people who have already been out there brand building and promoting themselves and worked on having great music to share. This is not gonna be a magic button that catapults you to stardom. I mean, you never know. I'm sure it'll happen for the 0.000. Oh, 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 one percent of y'all, but for most of us, just read the fine print and make sure that this is right for you. You can always give it a shot, see what happens, experiment around with it, and keep going, y'all. I know 2020 has been awful for artists, but hopefully everything's turning around soon. We have a new year coming up, and new opportunities like this Spotify thing are always coming. So don't give up! Keep fighting and keep having the courage to pursue your dreams and you will see benefits from it. All right, y'all, it's about enough for this video. Um, as always, I hope that you got something out of it and you found value in it. If you did, please keep watching and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave me a comment about what you think about all this Spotify stuff and don't forget to check out my playlist. Link to that down below. I love y'all so much. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.